So today I just want to go through a little bit of balance work and these exercises are going to be working some more 3D balance rather than the more static or one dimensional balance that we often do. So one of the things I often get um, patients to do is, is, as a sort of static balance exercise is to get you to stand on one foot and I'll get you to do that while you are I don't know, washing up or cleaning your teeth or waiting for the kettle to boil, something like that. And it's a great starting point as a balance exercise because as we have some natural sway um, through your body, just, just with the natural um, reactions to the world and to our postural sway, different muscles will start to work and uh, to activate. So that will, it's a great starting point, it's just standing on one foot. However, when standing on one foot is too easy, i.e. when you can do it for 30 seconds and, and not really worry about it, not feel it too much, it's time to think about starting to, to work a little bit harder on the old balance exercises. So what I'm going to get you to do today is if you just have your foot really well supported, so you're thinking about those three points of contact, big toe, little toe and heel, get your foot really centered between those, let the knee go soft so that we're really using the muscles. If your uh, knee is locked back, you can pretty much just, just use gravity to hold you there and use the ligaments more. But if we can just get the knee a little bit soft, so it's just about you know 20 degrees bent, something like that, so that we're, we're really working the muscles here, um, using the muscle proprioceptors. Then you can have the toe of the other foot on the floor for balance if you need it. Ideally, we'll take that off the floor as well and just, just have one foot there. So we're really sunk into the foot, um, the knee is nice and soft, and then we're just gonna reach across the body as far as you can, and then come back, and then we're just gonna reach across the body the other way. And you can see I've had to put my toe down but I can really get across there. And so you'll see that my knee and my hip are twisting and I can really feel all the muscles working. I'm particularly feeling um, the inner and outer muscles of the calf, so sort of the perineals, tibialis posterior, but I'm also starting to feel my adductors and my glutes. So everything that, that is working for my lateral stability is also working there. So we're getting a twist through there and then we can get a lateral transfer if I imagine that I'm holding a ball in my hands, take my um, hands across to my left, you'll see my hips move across to my right. So hips moving right, hands moving left. And again, that's gonna really work the stability system through my left leg. And you'll see how much I'm already struggling doing that because I've been standing on this leg and it's getting tired, but just working. So we're going twisting and going side to side and you'll really feel those uh, calf, glute, adductor muscles um, all working very hard and um, that's one of the real things that we've lost over this year with COVID is we've been walking all in straight in straight lines and, and going backwards and forwards, mostly forwards, but what we haven't been doing so much of is the changing direction and the natural stability stuff that we need for sports and I think that's um, you know a big reason that I've, I've seen such an increase in injury structures, stress fractures from people getting back to sports. Um, so there you go, have a go with some lateral stability stuff and see what effect that can have on your legs.